Hancock County Solid Waste District, and today I'm going to be reading the book Michael Recycle, written by Ellie Bethel and illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. There once was a town called Aberdu Rimey, where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh, the air was all hazy, but the people did nothing. They got rather lazy. And then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird, and it wasn't a plane. A green cape crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump, and then landed head first in the town garbage dump. He brushed off his suit as he jumped to his feet and grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle, and I have a plan. But I need your help, every one to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon fifty foot bugs will take over your town. You've got to recycle. You've got to act soon. Before all your trash reaches up to the moon. Then crushing a can, he gave them a wink. And vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Mooncotch exclaimed to her friend, Mr. Crewe, Did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle? How hard can it be? A green and clean town would be lovely to see. They recycled their paper, their plastic and cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Be Greener campaign and grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. So proud was the town of their green transformation, they threw a great party, a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper, then rolled it back up to use again later. You may think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree. In Averdu Rimey, recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry, or frown. For everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again a bright blue. Look at our town! It gleams and it glitters. Now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the Green Cape Crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around already moved on to help the next town. So if you should see a green silhouette streaking the skies, please don't get upset. The noises you hear, that clunk and that thunk, it's just our friend Michael recycling old junk. Here are Michael Recycle's Go Green tips. He says to recycle, recycle, recycle. You know, most uh, towns in Hancock County offers uh, curbside recycling to everybody that would like it. Or, you know, you can find public recycling bins in our area. Uh, turn it off. Electronic equipment, TV, computer, stereo. Turn it off when you're not using it to save electricity. Recharge it. Ask your parents to buy rechargeable batteries and energy efficient light bulbs. Don't be a drip. Fix any of your leaky faucets. Quick and clean, take shorter showers, unless you're really, really smelly. No running when brushing. Turn off the running faucet when you're brushing your teeth. Take a stroll. Walk or ride your bike whenever you can rather than taking the car. No paper trail. Reduce the amount of paper that you use at home. Use dish towels or rags instead of paper towels and cloth napkins instead of paper napkins. These are all things that you can do to help conserve paper. Trees, please. Trees are great for the environment. They help to give us oxygen. So plant a tree in your yard or plan a group tree parting in your neighborhood or at your school. Pile it up. Don't throw away grass clippings and falling leaves. Start a compost pile in your backyard and that will help the earth. Can it. Don't litter. Make sure your trash ends up where it belongs, in a trash can or not in the back of your closet. Hope you've enjoyed our story. Have a good day.